The posterior cerebral artery is one of a pair of blood vessels that supply oxygenated blood to the posterior aspect of the brain in human anatomy. It arises near the intersection of the posterior communicating artery and the basilar artery and connects with the ipsilateral middle cerebral artery and internal carotid artery via the posterior communicating artery. Origin The development of the PCA in fetal brain comes relatively late and arises from the fusion of several embryonic vessels near the caudal end of the PCOMMA supplying the mesencephalin and diencephalin of the fetus. The PCA begins as such as a continuation of the PCOMMA in the fetus with only 10 a euro 30% of fetuses having a prominent basilar origin. The fetal carotid origin of the PCA usually regresses as the vertebral and basilar arteries develop with the PCOMMA reducing as size. In most adults, the PCA sources from the anterior portion of the basilar artery. Only about 19% of adults retain PCOMMA dominance of the PCA with 72% having dominant basilar origin, and the rest having either equal prominence between PCOMMA and basilar artery, or a single exclusive source. Structure The branches of the posterior cerebral artery are divided into two sets, ganglionic and cortical. Equals central branches equals. Also known as the perforating branches. Thalamoperforating and thalamorgeniculate or posteromedial ganglionic branches, a group of small arteries which arise at the commencement of the posterior cerebral artery, these, with similar branches from the posterior communicating, pierce the posterior perforated substance, and supply the medial surfaces of the thalami and the walls of the third ventricle. Peduncular perforating or posterolateral ganglionic branches small arteries which arise from the posterior cerebral artery after it has turned around the cerebral peduncle. They supply a considerable portion of the thalamus. Equals choroidal branches equals medial posterior choroidal branches, run forward beneath the splenium of the corpus callosum, and supply the telechorioidy of the third ventricle and the choroid plexus. Lateral posterior choroidal branches, small branches to the cerebral peduncle, fornix, thalamus, chordate nucleus, and choroid plexus of the lateral ventricle. Equals cortical branches equals, the cortical branches are, anterior temporal, distributed to the uncus and the anterior part of the fusiform gyrus, posterior temporal, to the fusiform and the inferior temporal gyri, lateral occipital, which branches into the anterior, middle and posterior inferior temporal arteries, medial occipital, which branches into the calcarin, to the cuneus and gyrus lingualis in the back part of the convex surface of the occipital lobe, parieto occipital, to the cuneus and the precuneus. Splenial, or the posterior pericolisal branch, sometimes anastomosis with the anterior cerebral artery, and may not be present if the ACA wraps around the corpus callosum. Clinical relevance. Equals stroke equals. Contralateral loss of pain and temperature sensations. Visual field defects. Prosopagnosia with bilateral obstruction of the lingual and fusiform gyri. Superior alternating syndrome. Ipsilateral deficits of ocular motor nerve. Contralateral deficits of facial nerve. Vagus nerve and hypoglossal nerve. Horner's syndrome. Signs and symptoms. Structures involved. Equals peripheral territory equals. Homonymous hemianopia, calcarine cortex or optic radiation nearby. Bilateral homonymous hemianopia, cortical blindness, awareness or denial of blindness. Tactile naming, achromatopia, failure to see to and fro movements, inability to perceive objects not centrally located, apraxia of ocular movements, inability to count or enumerate objects, tendency to run into things that the patient sees and tries to avoid bilateral occipital lobe with possibly the parietal lobe involved. Verbal dyslexia without agraphia, color anomia, dominant calcarine lesion and posterior part of corpus callosum. Memory defect, hyocampal lesion bilaterally or on the dominant side only. Topographic disorientation and prosopagnosia, usually with lesions of non-dominant, calcarine, and lingual gyrus. Simultanagnosia, hemivisual neglect dominant visual cortex, contralateral hemisphere, unformed visual hallucinations, peduncular hallucinosis, 
metamorphopsia, teleopsia, illusory visual spread, palinopsia, distortion of outlines, central photophobia, calcarin cortex. Complex hallucinations, usually non-dominant hemisphere. Equals central territory equals, thalamic syndrome, sensory loss, spontaneous pain and dysesthesis, creoathetosis, intention tremor, spasms of hand, mild hemiparesis, contralateral hemianalithesia, posteroventral nucleus of thalamus. Involvement of the adjacent subthalamus body or its afferent tracts. Thalamoperforate syndrome, cross cerebellar ataxia with ipsilateral third nerve palsy, dentatothalamic tract and issuing third nerve. Weber syndrome, third nerve palsy and contralateral hemiplegia, third nerve and cerebral peduncle. Contralateral hemiplegia, cerebral peduncle. Paralysis or paresis of vertical eye movement, skewed deviation, sluggish pupillary responses to light, slight meiosis and ptosis, supranuclear fibers to third nerve, interstitial nucleus of cajal, nucleus of dark squitch, and posterior commissure. Contralateral rhythmic, ataxic action tremor. Rhythmic postural or holding tremor, dentatothalamic tract. See also Circle of Willis, anterior cerebral artery. Additional images. References. External links. Neuro slash 322 at eMedicine a Euro posterior cerebral artery stroke. Atlas image, N3A8P1 at the University of Michigan Health System, Anatomy Photo, 2809-0206 at the SUNY Downstate Medical Center, Anatomy Diagram, 13048.000-1 at Roche Lexicon, Illustrated Navigator, Elsevier, Overview, Angiography at State University of New York Upstate Medical University, Diagram, Blood Supply.